call up Alex Dinu and Denise Illich to the stage, please. Good evening. Thank you for this privileged opportunity to honor Evelyn Dinu. Thank you. I want to acknowledge her family, her children, Alex Dinu, Deanna Light, Michael Dinu, and Sue, and Andrea and Michael Gatilla, and her grandchildren, Xander, Evan, Sibley, and Parker Dinu, Nicholas Light, and Alessandro, and Giorgio Gatilla. Thank you to the United Macedonian Diaspora. And congratulations to the other honorees, Dr. George Ivanov, Congressman Paul Mitchell, and my good friend, Congresswoman Debbie Jacob. in the United States to parents Jim and Mary Satira. Jim was from Vernick and Mary was from Booth. And what a Macedonian duo they were. She was so blessed to have exemplary role models of her parents. And I feel so blessed to have had the privilege to grow up with them. Jim and Mary were kind, fun, generous, loving, and committed to their faith and to Macedonia. They were the co-founders of our St. Clement's Church. Evelyn has done a beautiful job of honoring their legacy and carrying forward their values, principles, and traditions. Those values are an unwavering devotion to family, church, and to her Macedonian heritage. Evelyn's love for her family is without reproach. Suffice to say, I have observed over a 50-year period the love that she has given to her family. Evelyn and George and my parents, Mike and Mary Illich, were best friends. So we all grew up and experienced life together. On a personal note, she's been a wonderful role model to me. Her actions have spoke volumes. She always led by example. By watching her, I learned the importance of kindness a sense of fun, she has a great sense of humor, a belief in God, the importance of church, and an emphasis on unity and collaboration. She's inclusive. Teta Abbey sees the good in all people. She's also an astute businesswoman, something that she doesn't get enough credit for, as evidenced by her brown spun bakery. As kids, she was known as the Zelnik provider, but as life went on, she became our Teta, and so much more. Teta Evie has been involved in our church, St. Clemens, for as long as I can remember. She has supported the church in so many different activities, including singing in the choir, the ladies' club, fundraising, cookie walks, rummage sales, dances, dinners, contributing financially to the church, and supporting the leadership of the church. She currently is a member of the Board of Trustees, and she led the first fundraising campaign for the orphanages in Vitala and Skopje, raising $58,000. Father Anthony from St. Clemens describes her as the best at working towards bringing the Macedonian community together. She always sees the bright side, he says, and is constantly working on strengthening relationships to unite Macedonians. Father Anthony goes on to say her goodness is her best feature. Now, if that's not enough, Evelyn and George were the original supporters of the St. Sabbath Monastery. In the beginning, Evelyn and George helped to pay electric bills, and they sent their bakery trucks filled with pounds and pounds of flour, sugar, and sesame seeds. The monastery started a small bakery from this generosity, and the proceeds helped to keep the doors open. They were the main factor that the monastery survived in the early years. Evelyn is sometimes referred to as the Macedonian angel. On her 80th birthday, she was honored with a mosaic window in the monastery which is stained glass and created in 1830 in England. This beautiful window is in honor of her great love of the Orthodox Church. As Father John from St. Sabbath so eloquently said, 
Evelyn Dinu is the best example of a human being, most genuine. She is the best of what it is to be a Macedonian, an American, and a Christian. Tata, congratulations on this honor. It is so well deserved. We all love you. Fala, Gospodivi, Blavi. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. President, First Lady, UMD members, and distinguished guests. On behalf of our mom, I would like to express our gratitude and appreciation for being re recipient of the Macedonian Heritage Award. This award is extremely fitting because even as a child, I can remember one of the key characteristics of my mom, always being proud of her heritage. I remember her teaching us the language, making the food, sharing the customs. Honestly, I must admit, many times I did not share her enthusiasm. <laughs> I can remember coming home from school all bummed out because some kids said, I never heard of Macedonia. Others would mistakenly refer to it as Mesopotamia or Madagascar. <laughs> Immediately, my mom would correctly err and clearly explain some relevant attribute or historic reference. She was always quick to defend her heritage. She was proud. She also told us to remember one thing about being Macedonian. Special. She said it was special and that you should always be proud. The pride spread throughout the neighborhood and she would explain and teach the neighborhood kids. You can imagine her gratification and our utter disbelief when eventually red-headed Patrick O'Callaghan stopped by the house one day and said, Hey, show crush, we got his own today? My mom has always been incredibly supportive of St. Clemens. As Denise mentioned, there were three co-founders who were instrumental in planning and guaranteeing the financing which allowed St. Clemens to be built. Jim Soteroff, my mom's father, was one of those people. The other two were Nicholas George and Michael Illich. Both families are represented here this evening. And as a result, my mom has a deep connection to St. Clemens and over the years has participated in many commissions and fundraisers all to a positive result. Equally important are the friendships she has established. She has the ability to draw people in with her kind and loving personality. She sees the good in people and is absolutely dependent, dependable no matter the situation. As a result, she has an extensive network of friends and has developed many great relationships and wonderful memories. For all she has done for Macedonia, the great irony is it wasn't until 1998 when she actually visited the country. By coincidence, I was in Europe for work and joined her for the first four days of the trip. It was extremely gratifying to observe her interacting with many friends and relatives, visiting homes, and the various villages. I have this image of her on a warm, sunny day, smiling and laughing while we had lunch on the shore of Lake Ordi. The work she did with the orphanages has been a source of great pride for our family. Finally, I would like to take one moment to reflect. For whatever reason, too many people wait until the person is gone before saying something nice about them. I've always found this particularly sad because I feel you should, you should tell those you value exactly how you feel when they are alive and can appreciate your comments. So on behalf of all your children and all your grandchildren, we want you to know that you have been an amazing mentor. You are the rock solid foundation of our family. 
we all appreciate everything you've done and said. Well, maybe except for some of the unsolicited uh, opinions. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, you've been a wonderful role model and have always been there for us. You made each and every one of our lives better. We thank you and we love you. Along this theme, I would like to thank Denise for her kind words. My mom was very touched. Denise and I have always shared a special bond, being the oldest of each of our families, where there's always a higher expectation. And for your amazing journey, I have always been appreciative how grounded you've remained. I've always been impressed with your intelligence. I used to teach her. I got the height, but she got the, the, the brains. You have great drive and focus, and I can honestly say you are one of the sweetest and kindest people I've ever met. I love you. In closing, please know that all of you in this room have made my mom incredibly happy. She was completely blown away by the response, excited so many of her friends are here tonight, and amazed at the great distances friends and families have traveled from Toronto and elsewhere. She is grateful and humble. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of the evening. God bless everybody here. Thank you so much for the kind words. I'm happy to be here with my family, with my friends. God bless America. God bless Macedonia. God bless Canada.